Welcome to the Trend Micro Deep Security video series. My name is Nick Russo and I'm a customer service engineer on the hybrid cloud support team. For this video, we're going to review the Deep Security Manager and agent upgrade processes. We'll cover upgrade paths and which versions can directly upgrade to 12.0. We'll review and step through the readiness check that occurs during the upgrade process, perform a DSM upgrade, and after the upgrade, we'll import the necessary agent software for the environment. When upgrading your Deep Security Manager to the latest 12.0 release, you must ensure you're running at least version 10.0 or later to directly upgrade. If you're running an older version like 9.5 or 9.6, there are some caveats to upgrading your environment to get to 12.0. To determine the version of your DSM, log into the web console and click on Support in the top right, then choose About from the drop down menu. The version number on this page correlates to a build number of the software. For customers running version 9.6.3177 or older, refer to the link in the description for upgrading the schema of your database prior to upgrading to 10 or 11 and then 12. For customers running 9.6.3400 or later, there's a separate link for the database schema upgrade prior to upgrading to 10 or 11. If you're currently running 10 or 11 or a feature release of 10 or 11, you have the ability to upgrade directly to 12.0 with no additional database work. If you're unsure of how to proceed with upgrading your environment, please submit a ticket to our help desk so we can help determine the appropriate course of action based on your environment. During the upgrade of your manager, there will be a readiness check in the installation process that checks a few different components prior to allowing you to move forward. The installer will check for version upgradability, OS compatibility, available disk space, memory specifications, database version compatibility, and deep security virtual appliance version compatibility. After the readiness check completes, a report is available by clicking the button in the installer. Now that we've covered the readiness check, let's go through a demonstration of the Deep Security Manager upgrade. The first step before making any changes to the Deep Security environment is to take a full backup of your Deep Security database. If any issues are encountered, we can leverage that backup to roll back our upgrade process. Next, we'll point our browser to downloadcenter.trendmicro.com, and on this page, I'll scroll down to Deep Security under the Server and Storage section. We're going to be upgrading this 9.6 Deep Security Manager to the latest 11.0 Manager. It's also running on a Windows server, so I'll select that from the drop-down, then click the Download button. Now that the download is complete, I'll run the installer. I'll accept the license agreement and click Next where the installer is going to check for previously installed versions of the Deep Security Manager. It's detected a previous install, and I'll select the option to upgrade the current installation. Our next step is to complete the readiness check that I mentioned previously. Each step of that check is listed out with a result, a reason for the result, and details, if any, about the result. My operating system is supported, and my temporary lab server for this video is a bit underpowered in regards to RAM, but the installer will let me buy with a warning. There's sufficient disk space, and my database is supported. There are no deep security virtual appliances in this environment, so that step is passed also. After the readiness check completes, I can review the results summary by clicking the button. It's recommended that the readiness check process that we just went through be ran in advance of the upgrade date, in case any issues are uncovered by the check. I'm now ready to begin the upgrade. After the upgrade process is complete, the installer will attempt to start the Deep Security Manager service. I'll now log into my DSM, and we can move on to our next steps, importing agent software and upgrading agents. In the Administration section under System Settings and then Updates, if I have the Automatically Download Updates to Imported Software option enabled, I should see the upgraded agent packages show up under Software, then Download Center. If the option isn't turned on, I can go to my Download Center and click the Import button next to the agent package for the platforms in my environment. After I've imported the software I need for my environment, I can go to the machine I want to upgrade, click on the Actions tab, then click the Upgrade Agent button. I'm prompted to select the agent version to upgrade to. I'm going to leave the default latest version option selected and also leave the upgrade now option selected. If I want to choose to schedule the upgrade, I can do so with the other option on this page. 
As mentioned in the warning on this page, some computers may require a reboot to complete the upgrade process. The upgrade begins after I click OK, and once it's complete, I can check the status of the agent. It shows managed online with no errors, but I want to give the agent a few minutes to completely initialize. After a period of time, I can see the anti-malware protection module is out of date, and this computer likely requires a reboot to complete the agent installation. After a reboot of the server, the computer now shows managed and online, with the anti-malware protection module reporting no errors as well. I also want to import a Red Hat 7 agent and kernel support package, and the Deep Security Virtual Appliance to match the version of my environment for a future agent installation and for agentless protection. I'll find the Red Hat agent and kernel support package in the list and import them. For the DSVA, I'll need to manually download that from the Trend Micro Download Center and then import that zip package. On the left, I'll click on Local under the Updates Software section and then click the Import button at the top of the page. I'll browse to the location of the zip file I downloaded for the DSVA and then import it. It's now imported and ready for the deployment. In another video, we'll cover the agentless deployment and upgrade process. I've now completed the upgrade of my Deep Security Manager in Relay, and I can follow the same agent upgrade process for other machines, or I can use software deployment tools to push the upgrade out to multiple machines in my environment. If you have any questions about the upgrade process of your Deep Security Manager or agents, feel free to reach out to our support team and we'd be glad to help in any way we can. Thanks for watching.